Hello everyone, welcome back to Exademy Redefining Education. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I am teaching you Engineering Mathematics. We are in the first chapter of Engineering Mathematics which is Basic Concepts and we have entered into lesson number 11 which is Analytic Geometry and we will be dealing with Parabola. So we have already covered two dimensional coordinate systems, straight line, circle, conic sections and in this video we will be dealing with parabola. So let's get started. So initially I will first define what a parabola means and then I will explain each and every term for you. Okay. So don't get um, frustrated by seeing whatever the nonsense things I have written over here. So the locus of a point P whose distance from a fixed point S bears a constant ratio equals to 1 to its distance from a fixed line KZ is called a parabola. I know this definition is not clear to you. Even then try to figure it out. See here. See this diagram. Okay. Now which one is parabola? Identify which parabola, which is parabola, this blue line, this black line, which, which is called parabola? Obviously this red color curve as you can see this is called a parabola. Got it? Now just have a look on this figure. This point S as you can see this is called focus. This point S is called focus. This point A is called the center or vertex. This point A is called the center or vertex. Okay. Now this vertical line that you are seeing that is ZK this is called directrix. What is this? This is called directrix and this blue horizontal line as you can see this is called principal axis. What is this? This is called principal axis. Now this black color vertical line that is LL dash this is called latus rectum. What is this? This is called latus rectum. Got it? Once again this red color line as you can see this is called parabola. This black color line is called directrix. This point S is called the focus. This A is called vertex or the center. This line X axis is the principal axis. This line that is LL dash is called latus rectum. Okay. There are some more points. So as you know that where this uh, directrix is cutting this X axis it's cutting at X equals to minus A. So what will be the equation for this directrix? Obviously it will be x equals to minus a. Or you can write in this format as well that is x plus a equals to 0. Got it? Now what is eccentricity? Eccentricity, eccentricity is a ratio. Ratio of what? Let us consider a point P. So from this point if you drop one perpendicular on this line KZ. So this distance. Okay? So this distance PM. And when you join this P point with this focal point, okay, so this distance and this PS distance, so this ratio, ratio of the distance of PM to that of PS is called eccentricity. And this ratio will remain constant, right? Now moving to next, as you can see, what is a focal chord and what is a latus rectum? In the previous video, I had given the difference, the definition. So what is this focal chord? Focal chord is this. This is for a point S. Okay, now this is passing, this chord is passing through this focus. So this is called a focal chord. Now when this focal chord becomes perpendicular to this principal axis like this, so this focal chord becomes latus rectum. I hope you got the difference now. What is this focal chord and what is latus rectum? Cut it. And this point is called the vertex or this point is called the center. Vertex or center both means the same thing. So this diagram will more may will make uh, things more clear. So as you can see this black color curve line this is called parabola. This is your focus that is a comma zero. This is vertex which is zero comma zero. This distance from this vertex to focus is a and the same equal distance if you take and the, if you drop one perpendicular to this principal axis. So this line is called as your directrix. The equation of this directrix is x equals to minus a. Got it? Now moving here. As you can see I have shown one point and some red lines. So this red point and this distance this red line and this red line. If you measure these both will be equal. So if you measure these two lines this will be equal. If you measure these lines this will be equal. If you measure these lines this will be equal. If you measure these lines this will be equal. And they are maintaining a constant ratio and that ratio is called as the eccentricity. Got it? I hope everything is clear now. See this diagram once more. This is your axis of symmetry or the principal axis. As I told you in the previous video that your principal axis is the symmetrical axis. Why it is symmetrical? Because your conic section is symmetrical about the 
principal axis. Remember long, long years ago when you studied something called principal axis and symmetrical and conic sections? In that, I gave you a note statement. What? What was the note statement? That your conic section is always symmetrical above the principal axis. So that is why it is being shown here. This is your lattice rectum as you can easily identify. This point is called focus. This is vertex and this is directrix. Got it? And this pink line as you can see. So if you take a point here and if you measure the distance. So this distance and this distance are, is equal. Okay? And they are maintaining a constant ratio and that ratio is called as eccentricity represented with small letter E. So, where to use this parabola? So, see, you'll find this parabola so many way, uh, so many places you'll find. That means it's actually an imaginary curve. That means when you are kicking a ball, so what is the path that it's following? Obviously, it's following a trajectory path. And what type of a trajectory path it's following? Obviously, it's a parabolic. Okay. So, when you kick a soccer ball, shoot an arrow, or fire a missile, or throw a stone, it arcs up into the air and comes down again. Obviously, like this. So, following the path of a parabola. Got it? Now. Okay, so you try doing by yourself, you'll find that how the uh, path is being followed. Now this chart, you can take a snapshot for this particular chart. This chart is very important because in your engineering mathematics questions, so many questions will be put up which you can directly solve if you have this idea. See here, I have shown here four standard parabolas. Y, equals, y square equals to 4ax, y square equals to minus 4ax, x square equals to 4ay and x x is equals to minus 4ay, right? So these are the equations of parabola. Now axis, which axis I'm talking about? I'm talking about the principal axis. So this is horizontal axis is my principal axis. So what is the equation of this axis? Obviously it's an x axis. So equation of x axis is y equals to 0. Similarly y equals to 0. x equals to 0 for this y axis and x equals to 0 for this y axis. Got it? Now equation for this directrix. Where is directrix? This is the directrix because this is the focus point, right? So this is the directrix. So if focal distance is what? A, so this will be minus A. So x equals to minus A, x equals to 0. So this will be x equals to uh, uh, a, this one directrix is x equals to a minus a. So this one which is directrix x equals to minus a. So that means x equals to minus a. So since this is the focal point so uh, your directrix will be this. Okay. So x equals to 0. Here in this case this is your directrix. Here in this case this is your directrix. Got it? So that is why equation x equals to minus a. x equals to minus a this line x equals to 0 this means, which means this line y equals to minus a means this line and y equals to 0 means this line. Got it? Now vertex as you all know vertex will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Okay? So here you can see vertex or center both means the same thing. Now focus this is focus a comma 0 minus a comma 0 0 comma a 0 comma minus a. Length of lattice rectum how will you find it? Just simply drop on perpendicular to this principal axis. Drop on perpendicular, drop on uh, uh, this, uh, make this uh, one perpendicular to this chord and this uh, lattice rectum will be parallel to this directrix. Here also this lattice rectum will be parallel to this uh, directrix. Okay. Okay. So equation of lattice rectum. So you can easily calculate all these things. So if you want, you can take a snapshot for it. Now what I am showing here, as you can see, we can have this type of parabola or this type of parabola whenever the mouth is opening downwards. Okay, so that means it shows that value is increasing, reaching maximum and then decreasing. And here value is decreasing, reaching minimum and then increasing. We will see more about this in uh, the chapter of graphs. By the time you just keep in mind these two points are called the vertex or the center. Now let's see what is the general form equation of a parabola. As you can see, this is the quadratic equation, right? So this is the general form equation of a parabola. Now we'll be learning how to sketch it. Okay, so you need to find vertex. Very simple. Simply you need to compare using the standard equation and get the values of A, B, C. So once you get the values of A, B, C, you can easily calculate what is this vertex point. So vertex point will be minus B upon 2A comma F of minus B by 2A. How do you get it? Uh, y intercept for finding this y intercept you need to put x equals to 0 right and for finding x intercepts you need, put, you need to put f of x equals to 0 okay so we'll be finding x intercept y intercept vertex and so many now 
let's see how to sketch the graph of parabola. So this you will enjoy. So let us consider 3x square minus 6x plus 5 we have this graph. So what is the solution? We will be solving this in several steps. So first step is find ABC. So whatever the equation that is given to you some simply compare and get the values of A, A, B and C. So from here comparing you are getting that A equals to 3, B is minus 6 and C is 5. Okay. So first step is over. Moving to step 2 you need to check whether the parabola opens up or opens down okay or whether the parabola is opening towards left or it's opening towards right how will you check it see first thing you need to check whether it's a function of x or it's a function of y when it is a function of x then definitely the parabola will either open up or will open down and if this uh, parabolic function is a function of y so that means uh, your parabola can either open towards left or towards right got it now here as you can see the parabolic function is in the terms of x definitely you don't have any other option left for left and right opening so the parabola can open up or down so if you compare and get the value of a and if you see that a value is greater than 0 and so that is why it's opening up and if the a value is less than 0 it's opening down okay so here the function has to be in the terms of x then only the up and down case will be possible when the left and right case will be possible see f of y equals to a y square plus b y plus c so here a function of this parabola is in the terms of y so when the function is in the terms of y then only it opens up the options for this parabola to open towards right or left okay now doing the same thing you need to compare the value of a get the value of a if the value of a is positive that means greater than zero so the parabola will open towards right and if the value of a is less than 0, the parabola will open towards left. Next step we have is to find the vertex. Simply get the vertex in this relation as I told earlier also. Compare the values a, b, c. Substitute here. You will get the vertex point. So the vertex point here is minus b by 2a comma f of minus b by 2a. So minus b by 2a means minus of minus 6 upon 2 into 3 which is 6 upon 6. This will get cancelled and the function of minus b by 2a that means f of 1. f of x is this much. So what is f of 1 in place of x? You need to simply put x equals to 1. So if you get it, you will get the value of f of this as 2. So the vertex point you are getting here is 1 comma 2. So you got the vertex point as well. Next, you need to find the y-intercept. Need to y-intercept, put x equals to 0. Simply get the value of 5. Oh, sorry, get the value of c. So if you compare here, you will get the value of c as 5. Okay, so y-intercept will be 0 comma 5. Now, compare, uh, in the last step, collect all the data and plot the graph. You have this function with you. So in the first step, what we did, we compared the values, get the values of a, b, c. So a here is 3, b is minus 6 and c is 5. As we know that, so this is a function of x, so that's why your parabola will be up or down. Now here a is greater than 0, then parabola is up. You got the value of vertex also, point or location of this vertex also. You got the uh, value of this y-intercept also. Then nothing is left, simply you need to plot this and uh, just make a curve like this. Okay. Now how will you make this curve? Because you know very well that your conic section is always symmetrical about the principal axis as I told you in the previous note okay in, in the previous no video in that I gave you a note statement in which I told you that your parabola or your conic section is always symmetrical about the principal axis right so this as you can see this you make a graph so this graph will be symmetrical about this principal axis so you can easily make this graph by yourself now there is one task for you. Now if you have understood well, then your task is to you just show me whether you have really understood this or not. So there is a question for you x square equals to 4, x square plus 4x plus 4. This is the parabolic equation. So you need to solve this and drop the solutions in the Xademy WhatsApp portal. Note down this number if you wish and drop down the solutions out there. Be in touch with me personally, okay, if you wish. Now this is the parabolic equation in the vertex form. Okay, so in the vertex form, that means if you know the this vertex, that is hk, so you'll get this function as a into h, x minus h whole square plus k, right? And the last one that we have, if you want to represent this x and y in some other th third variable, that is t, so you can write x equals to 80 square, y equals to 280, right? So all these things were there for your uh, parabola. Okay, so in the upcoming videos, we will see some more interesting topics. Till then, stay tuned with us. Take care. Bye-bye.